everybody. Um, thank you for making it this evening to Syringa Speaks. And I'm really quite in, uh, excited to see how much interest there is in the community um, to hear directly um, from residents about their experiences. As we all know, they have been going through about four years of legal proceedings trying to get at least a little bit of compensation for emotional duress, uh, for vulnerability and safe living. Um, and that's been an ongoing struggle and something that actually even precedes their experiences the last four years. Um, and in addition, so now we have a settlement that has also resulted in uh, Magar E. Magar, the official property owner, trustee is Shelley Magar, his uh, daughter. Um, they've reached a decision to close the park and that announcement was issued in early November which left uh, residents only until May 5th to be able to try to find a place to live somewhere else in Moscow or the surrounding region with 18 month wait lists for fair and affordable housing opportunities apartments um, in town. And so uh, with the bankruptcy court proceedings, the settlement has stretched that to June 5th, 2018, in the hopes that with the um, uh, closing of leases and everything, that there might be a few more housing opportunities for those families. And the last count that the UI legal aid clinic gave in terms of how many houses are still housed by families or still housing families out of the park they've estimated roughly about 35 families um, living out of the park which would be probably still about 95 people needing to be really relocated uh, without further ado um, as you see in the schedule uh, we will um, proceed with having a short documentary. This is a project I've been working on with several students since uh, fall 2016 uh, to conduct a historical and ethnographic type of work of life in the park. And um, students have been working with me on various elements and we have so much more to do. Um, but with this documentary, we're trying to encapsulate some of the key issues that um, students noticed residents talking about many times. Um, without, so I will introduce uh, the three students who um, were part of the documentary creation and production here.